questions that people have is what can we do about the coronavirus outbreak and why would it matter? You know, there's optimism and pessimism. You can say, hey, it's going to be good or it's going to be bad, but that's really not the point. The real question is, can we do something about it? And the answer is actually yes. And, and this has been demonstrated in both China and South Korea. So both of them have taken the following strategy. What they do is they say in the area where there's a really rapid outbreak, they sh lock it down. People stay home for a couple of weeks, for three weeks, four weeks, and that makes it so that they can't transmit the virus there. And it just stops it pretty quickly. And then they prevent travel so that people can't travel around in the country. And you would think that the lockdown is enough, but you don't know exactly where the outbreak is. So you, you, you prevent people from traveling long distances so they don't carry the virus to other areas and, and, and spread it so that there aren't outbreaks in other places. And, 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 the, and the other thing is in the place where you don't have the lockdown, and even in the place where you have lockdown, you do a lot of testing. You check who has the disease and you make sure that they're isolated because even if they're stopped in their homes, right, they can transmit it to their family. And, you know, there's still some mobility, right? People have to get around in order to get certain essentials. So uh, depending upon how you do things, you really want to make sure that everyone that has symptoms, that they are 100% isolated individually. And also, of course, that they get the medical care that they need. So the point is that by locking it down, it's not like you are um, uh, preventing people from getting necessities or medical care. The opposite is true. By keeping the disease confined to a particular area, then you can send the necessary services and the, uh, and the um, delivery of goods or things that people need uh, into that area. But if the disease spreads everywhere, then everyone's overwhelmed and nobody can help anybody. So that's really the key. And the other part of this is that if you wait, then it's gonna be a lot worse. So it's an exponential growth. That means it, it multiplies by a factor of 10 basically every week. So if you wait, it gets a lot worse and you're not gonna be able to stop it. But if you hit it early, then the advantage is that it's the same multiplicative process it decays exponentially, goes away, so it can be gone in a few weeks. And that's exactly what happened in China, and that's what's happening now in South Korea.